Hey guys, Aaron here. What is going on? Welcome to Learning 3D Episode 2. I know it's been a while and I've uh, just been pretty busy anytime I get to the field. I don't really uh, get time. But here we're doing uh, inverted hovering and TikToks. Um, typically I was going to work in a fashion where uh, of learning progression. So I started with how to flip your helicopter. Uh, now I want to go to uh, how to hover inverted. I'll show you uh, which, which stick movement does what. I'll uh, give you a couple tips and move on to TikToks after that. Um, due to overwhelming re uh, request, uh, I will do TikToks just because so many people I've gotten comments from want to learn how to do them. Um, you know, depending what kind of helicopter you have, you want to know how you do it uh, versus, say, on a 130X versus on like a 600. So I'm going to teach you and uh, walk you through all that stuff. So uh, let's get into it. All right, we're out here with my T-Rex 600. First off, I'm just going to show you how to uh, get into your inverted hovering position and uh, all that good stuff. I'm just going to kick it up in my low head speed here. All right, so typically uh, you're going to want to go about two, two mistakes high when you want to learn this. Um, just for video's sake, I'm going to do it nice and low. Um, but you want to start out tail in. Uh, that's always, you know, what you should do. Start out tail in, and you're going to want to push forward and pop positive and roll down to negative as you're flipping your helicopter. Um, I touched on that in Learning 3D Episode 1, so check that out. Now I'm over. I shot it up a little bit, and uh, we're inverted. Now, nose in inverted is the easiest thing to learn. Um, I know typically nose in isn't the easiest uh, upright. But when you're nose in, what you're going to want to do is if you want to push it away from yourself, you push forward on the stick. So watch, cameraman, if I push forward on the stick, it'll push the helicopter away. And when I want to bring it closer to myself or bring it at myself, you push back on the stick, on the right stick, to bring it at yourself like this. And in order to get the helicopter to go right... Maybe heli right a little bit. Right. In order to get the helicopter to go right, you're going to want to push left on the stick to get it to move over like that. And the exact opposite, you push right to get the helicopter to move left when your nose in. Um, one key feature here, uh, or key, uh, key thing, is your bailout. Uh, so if you're feeling uncomfortable and you, know, you feel you're about to put it in, go full negative. Um, if you're in a predicament where your helicopter is still level, um, and you're coming to the ground pretty quick, just go full negative, shoot it out. Um, that way, you know, you're not going towards the ground. You're in a good, safe position. You can get about, uh, I'd say, two to three mistakes high. Uh, this is where you're probably going to want to learn how to flip your helicopter, um, up here. So learn how to flip your helicopter first, and then learn how to practice inverted. And once you get a little more comfortable, you can bring it down uh, and get a little lower. Um, so now we're going to go tail in here, peel right around. So when you're tail inverted, you push, if you want to go away from yourself, push back, back on the right stick, the helicopter goes away. You push forward on the right stick, the helicopter will come at you. And then if you want to push, say, uh, left, you push left on the stick. And if you want to go right, you push right on the stick. Um, and that's for inverted tail in. So, you know, left is left, right is right, but forward and uh, back are reversed. Um, sideways, um, both are actually, probably, these are probably going to be the last orientations you get to know. Um, nose to the right and nose to the left here. Um, they're going to be the last orientations you get to know. And when your nose is to the right, in order to push it away from yourself, you push right on the stick, so you give it right aileron. In order to bring it closer to yourself, you push, uh, I'm sorry, you push left aileron to go away from yourself and right aileron to come at yourself like so, and to go left, you push forward, and to go right, you push back, and just everything's reversed when your uh, nose to the left. Um, once you get a nice controlled inverted uh, orientation over every single orientation, a good thing to do is this. Sit there and do inverted pirouetting. You can do it nice and slow, whatever speed you feel comfortable doing. Um, if, you, if you can get them locked in, get them nice and super precise, um, then you know every orientation. You can slow it up here a bit, um, and then you can go really fast. You know, it, it depends how comfortable you are. Um, the slower you go, the more control you're going to need for uh, to keep the helicopter in one precise, uh, 
I guess, pinnacle. Um, so that was just all the orientations um, as you're going through. Uh, that was just your nose to the left, nose to the right, um, nose in and tail in inverted orientations. Uh, just basic simple movements. You want to learn every angle between them too. That way in case you know, you're coming down and you're at this, uh, at this angle instead of nose down perfectly, um, you want to get a good understanding of every single orientation. Uh, you know, I've saved so many helicopters just by learning orientations. So uh, definitely learn your orientations. Don't skip that. Um, definitely want to stress that. Do not skip your orientations. I've seen guys that have tried to do that and it really ends up hurting them in the, lo uh, in the long run. So uh, that was just your uh, hovering inverted. So we're gonna, we'll switch packs and go yeah, to... Yeah, we're gonna switch packs and go to uh, TikToks. All right guys, so this is gonna be TikToks. What you're gonna wanna learn first, which I'm not gonna demonstrate here just because uh, of time constraints, um, learn your rainbows first. So um, learn your rainbows forward. Uh, so you're gonna do a big, nice long rainbow forward and then a big rainbow back. Uh, work on your rainbows, uh, a good helicopter to do this. 130X from anything to like a six or 700. Um, obviously on a six or 700, it's gonna perform much better. But if you can get TikToks down or rainbows down on a 130X, um, everything's gonna be much easier uh, on the bigger helicopters. So again, you're gonna wanna learn your rainbows. Nice, big, long rainbows, work on those. Um, after you learn your orientations inverted uh, and just work on those for uh, several flights until you're extremely comfortable with those. Then you can go on to the uh, upright elevator TikToks. Uh, that's all I'm going to show in this video. Um, but uh, every other TikTok, such as the Allen TikTok and Nose Down TikTok, same thing uh, applies. So what you're going to want to do is what we're going to do is use more uh, cyclic than we are going to use collective. So. Do them nice and fast, or do them nice and slow, like so, nice and slow, just back and forth. And once you get a basic understanding of how to do the TikTok, is when you can go and do them a little faster. You can bring your radio up a little bit, if you can, and while he's doing these. All right. All right, and as I stated before, what we're gonna do is, I, is I really wanna, really, really wanna stress this for TikToks, is you're using more cyclic. So your right stick, you're gonna be using almost full cyclic, but on your pitch, you're only gonna be using, say, maybe half to three quarters of your pitch. Um, if you're going full stick and you're maxing out, you're gonna be bogging it, you're gonna be shutting it down. Um, you know, that is extremely hard, uh, very bad hard load on the helicopter. So you don't wanna do that. Again, when you're doing it, all you're doing is doing about this. Um, you know, ever so slight collective. Uh, again, you shouldn't be touching. Only about this much. Um, max, maybe half over uh, mid stick and about half under. So maybe not even quite half under. Um, so just ever so slight on your pitch and about full collective. And then you're timing um, though on the two. They're basically yeah, going opposite. You're timing, you're basically going op uh, dead opposite. Um, but one thing people do opposites, they want to slam. Um, even on your right stick, you don't want to slam. A lot of people do that. Just nice and slow, even in aggressive TikToks, you just go nice and slow and controlled. Uh, when you slam them is when they do this and they drop. Um, a lot of people when they do TikToks, they only go to about here. Um, when you do a quick TikTok, you wanna drop it to about here. If you're only going to about here and you do TikToks, you're gonna wanna drop. It's gonna TikTok and drop really hard. And I'll show you what I, uh, what I mean here. Um, but when you do it, you're gonna wanna TikTok, make it a nice big arch um, and sit it basically on, on the tail. So I'm gonna show you what an ugly TikTok will look like um, and uh, you know what not to do basically. So yep. Alright, so many people when they go to TikTok, they're gonna go and slam it, and you don't wanna do that. So you go and see how it drops? It looks really, really ugly. Again, people go, and it's really not good to do yeah, that. Both on the frame on that one. Yeah, okay. You go. And, and, and the helicopter drops, it really doesn't look good. What you're gonna wanna do, you go up, and you go up and you sit on there nice. Again, I'm not using a whole lot of collective, and uh, that's basically how you do it. You don't use a whole lot of collective, um, you gotta bring the helicopter basically fully, fully upright and fully inverted. Um, 
Again, when a lot of people do them, they slam them and they get them to about this point and you got to get them to about this point. Um, otherwise, they'll drop. It'll look like you're doing a tick-tocking tail slide, really slammy, really ugly. Um, so you want to make sure they go all the way. You're not using too much collective pitch um, and they'll look pretty good. Um, this maneuver takes a lot of practicing. It took me a while to get down. Um, so any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, make sure you're running enough pitch uh, in order to do this maneuver. Uh, I'd say the best helicopter to learn this on, if you're comfortable, would be a 6 or 700. Um, if you have it a 130X, that's a great helicopter to learn it on because if you learn it on a 130X, you can go to a 6 or 700 and do it perfectly fine. Um, so any questions, let me know, uh, PM me or uh, leave it in the comments. That was Learning 3D Episode 2, TikToking and uh, Hovering Inverted with all your orientations. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.